Greetings, YouTube. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to refinish these cabinet doors. They go in a hallway to like a storage thing that's got whatnots and hooser huzzers, whatever. These are original to the house and they've got this ugly yellow ish stain on it. And I want to get rid of that. So I was thinking I already redid a door, refinished a door that's the same kind of wood. And I just re-cleared that with a urethane, just a semi-gloss. But I think I'm going to paint these white to, um, because I'm planning on painting the kitchen cabinets white. So I want to use these for practice basically. And so it all matches. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to put the camera on my head. Hopefully I'm going to do a test to make sure that you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to sand them down. I'm going to sand them first. I have 80. Sorry about the birds. Shut up. Shut up recording here I probably should have something finer I have 80 grit but it's kind of worn out I'm gonna use that to strip all this varnish off and then I'm gonna go over it with 220 to get it nice and smooth and I'm gonna paint them I haven't decided I'm gonna either paint them a gloss white or a satin white because I'm gonna use rust-oleum in the can I'm just gonna go to Home Depot and get some rust-oleum that works pretty good you can go get special paints and whatnot but uh, I think that's just going to work fine for what I'm doing. So let me get to sanding and get started. As you can see that uh, using a porter cable dual action sander that makes pretty quick work of that new day. And I didn't film all the, the uh, sanding here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow all these off and uh, start painting. Okay, as you can see I got a, uh, got a real respirator here you don't want to mess around and you want to be safe so this is what I picked out to paint it's the satin rust-oleum went with the satin there again the birds birds please please they pay no attention so I'm gonna open this stir it up stir it up with my stir stick and put it in my trusty Harbor Freight spray a couple test patterns and then I will pick up the video um, as I'm spraying and I'm doing this outside as you can tell by the birds because I don't have a fancy paint booth I don't even have a garage but I just want to show that this is possible you can get a nice finish there may be some dust and dirt flying around but it's negligible and it's manageable and kind of moved out beyond the trees hopefully so none of the leaves will fall down on my work so fingers crossed and if it does I can just sand it out and redo it so I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna put my Darth Vader mask on and pick up uh, after I test spray a little bit with my gun here, I'm just gonna stir it up. I'm sure you guys really wanted to see this step. This paint doesn't really look like it needs much stirring, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. It's pretty consistent. It's a little thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into another container. I'm gonna thin it down with a little acetone. 
And that's what you're supposed to thin this with is acetone. Just, it's a little, a little thick on the bottom there, so I'm gonna stir it for a couple minutes here. Of course, I'm not gonna make you watch me stir it for a couple minutes, so I'm gonna stir it and then I'll come back. Okay, so it's been a bit of a break between the first part of the video and now, because I don't do this as a living, so things get in the way. Maybe someday, you know, if you guys watch my videos enough and really get into me, I can do it all in one shot. But for now, I had to stop and do some other stuff. So where I'm at now, I don't have a lot of paint left, but I've got a couple layers on the cabinet doors and it was a little rough, so I sanded them down with some 220, smoothed them out. I'm going to put one last coat on of this uh, the Rust-Oleum satin white. And I'm doing a like a hallway closet door in preparation for um, respraying all the kitchen cabinets. This is like a budget if you want to, um, you know, revamp your, your kitchen and you don't want to spend a lot of money. All this stuff here... You know, I'm making mistakes for you, so you don't have to do what I did and screw up. And hopefully, uh, rubber gloves. Found some there in short supply. I'm not going to tell you where. Uh, but this stuff is not expensive. That was $10. You can buy this Harbor Freight gun for $10 if you get the coupon. Um, I did add a pressure regulator and a water trap. I just put the water trap on there just today. And of course you're going to have to buy stuff like mineral spirits, xylene, acetone to clean and thin out the paint. And of course you need a uh, compressor. I've got a, a 20, a 20 gallon. It's the, the one from Harbor Freight. I'd show you, but it's all dark in there. I'll put it in the description. Just look down there. So, major crime. Major crime happening. Breaking news. Lots of sirens. Okay. Whatever. So I've got the, the panels. I'm going to take you over there and show you that. So after you get all this mixed up, you want to load your paint gun. I didn't show that, it's pretty simple. Just pour the paint in there. You can use these um, filters here. Got those at Harbor Freight. Stir up, but if you're just doing something like this, it's not crucial, as long as there's nothing, no chunks in there or whatever. So we're gonna get to spraying next.
Okay, so I didn't uh, show the finish of that after I sprayed the things. Well, they just dried. <laughs> I'm not going to show you on video drying. Um, this worked out pretty good. I will roll in footage of the finished product here um, when I reinstalled the cabinet doors. And uh, I've changed my mind. I'm going to try a different product on the uh, rest of the cabinets. On the, I'm going to uh, experiment with the bathroom, um, whatever that's called, under the sink with those doors. I'm going to get a, a, a bare paint and I will do a video on that. Um, it's something I haven't tried before and I've read, saw a couple videos about it and it's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be like a, another paint that's popular but very expensive and uh, we'll go over that but for now this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.